We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down. Pie down. What's good, shout around? It's your boy Reclaiming Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. All it was white girl wifey. Those cats were fast as lightning. To black women, it's a little bit frightening. That's why they face got extra tiny. Oh, 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 To black women, it's a little bit frightening. That's why they face got extra tiny. Woo! Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so the NFL draft has definitely shaken things up in a big way, especially when it comes to dating content and the likes. And what we are now seeing is, you know, a lot of times we we understand that these athletes, um, in particular college educated black men, 30% of them are actually dating outside of their race. And a lot of black women are triggered by this. And here's the thing. They continue to say we don't care. They continue to say that, you know, as long as y'all don't bash us, it's fine. But the evidence is not reflecting on what they say. They are extremely upset that black men are going out and choosing other women. And we've had this discussion on this channel before, but the things that I'm seeing on Twitter and on Instagram and their replies and their comments about these interracial relationships i mean it's absolutely insane so we're gonna get into many of them i wanted to show you guys that funny song uh by tommy sotomayor because i think he pretty much summed it up very well but i'm gonna show you a, a a collage of different videos that are making our point about why sisters are so salty when brothers are dating outside their race name the grass great quarterback the bears had that was consistent sid luckman you gotta go back a long way for that they thought they had it in jim mcmahon it didn't happen except for one season when they won the super bowl they thought they were gonna get the long-term run uh -oh. this is where they think the long-term run starts starts here with caleb williams when i asked the guys in their personnel department what did you learn <laughs> so guys as you can see we have the number one draft pick from 2023 2024 NCAA season in Caleb Williams. He is a black man, okay, fully black, <clears throat> and he shows up to the draft with a snow bunny. Now, what does this mean, okay? It means that black women are salty. It means that they lost another eligible bachelor, and let me tell you why. 
when you are a college athlete, which I was a college athlete, a division one college athlete for that matter, here's the dynamic. When you are on campus, you automatically are going to be chose. You automatically are going to get attention. And the women outside of black people, black women, they act, are actually willing to compete. Even if they may not verbalize that, they are actually going to actively compete for these men's attention. Now, we've talked about this before on this channel and you know I've hit on it so many times, but it's so true. When you're on campus, the white girls will come up to you. They'll spark conversation. They'll be nice. They'll be kind. They'll smile. They'll do the simple things that if you ask a black woman to do that, she'll be upset. These are the things that make it even more difficult for sisters to actually end up getting with these types of guys because they're not putting themselves out there, okay? Especially if y'all want athletes, y'all are gonna have to come up to them. In, th in this scenario, in this case, the men are the prize. Now, I, I'm not of the, you know, thought or the mindset of saying, oh, well, men are the prize all the time. No, in, in, in many cases, if you're dealing with a thug max alpha simp, the, men, the man is not the prize because he's not bringing anything to that proverbial table. But here's the thing. That is what these college educated sisters are actually looking for. They're looking for a guy who is lesser than them. They're looking for a guy who they can control because they don't want to commit anyway. So if they do run into a good guy, when they do run into a good guy, a husband, husband material guy, they, uh, you know, they might be in a relationship with him shortly, but they'll let him down slowly and easy because they want to be pass arounds. They want to be bopped. OK, now that's not to say that black women are not hooking up with these football players and athletes on campus. That No, they are hooking up, but they think they have the leverage in the relationship when they actually don't. These guys, especially now, they're getting NIL deals. These guys are, are making six figures, 18, 19 years old. And, you know, I mean, in, in this scenario, these guys have the leverage, okay? And the sisters are not willing to compete with that. They're not willing to stick it out for that long, especially if the guy isn't getting burned his first year. Like if he had to get red shirted, then he's, you know, a, a lot of sisters are going to look down on him and they're going to make fun of him and say, hey, did you play? Did you play? Did so they're going to do those types of things. And at the end of the day, a, a man just wants somebody who is easy to get along with. In 2023, look at the excitement. That's what this night is about. Wildest dreams of these young men and their families coming true. They're right before your eyes. He started 21 games for the Nittany Lions, allowed just one sack. He was the teammate at Gonzaga College High School in D.C. of Caleb Williams, who went number one tonight. Now old fashioned you go. <laughs> So you see this moment here. This moment out also went viral because you have um, Alumoyiwa Fashunu, Fashonu, uh, offensive tackle for uh, Penn State. He actually gets drafted, uh, I believe, in the first round. And he has a white girl as a girlfriend. Obviously, she's sitting on the couch right next to Mama. You know Mama, obviously. I mean, here's the thing. They love to say... You hate yourself, your mama black, you know, you hate your mom. The black community has a big problem with Oedipus complex and I've spoken on it before. The reason why he is with a white girl on draft day is, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious, right? <laughs> why would he as the king that he is and is going to become and the dominant player that he is why would he want to go for someone who looked like his mom and y'all could tell me the difference between his mom and this snow bunny that he is dating i'll, I'll tell you and this is no disrespect but the difference is 200 300 pounds So the argument from sisters is, oh, well, you hate your mom. Of course not. He doesn't hate his mom, right? His mom is, is you see, she playing defense. She playing defense. She's trying to stay in the way so that, you know, this girl doesn't get any clout from him. And maybe she is a bopper. 
maybe she is just some rando that he brought home and maybe she's doing that but a lot of times these are women who held these men down since freshman year period okay and they've gone through things with the this man you know and i i don't know who he you know i know who he is but i don't know like what type of guy he is okay i didn't play against him i didn't compete against him he's a little after my time but what i can tell you is um <laughs> he pro she probably overlooked a lot of things let's just say that okay she probably overlooked a lot of things and he was doing his thing because he was big man on campus period so she held him down through all of that and she's going to end up reaping the benefits reaping the reward because of her undying loyalty period and i mean how many black women can say that yes i met this man at 22 years old and i committed to him for the rest of my life i mean i met this man at 18 i met this man at 19 i committed him for the rest of they're gonna be like you too young you should wait till you 30 you should tell me i'm lying so that's exactly why the the, the white women are you know out competing uh black women when it comes to dating high value high net worth black men highly sought after black men he's big he's fast he's long he returned a pick for a touchdown and his first snap at notre dame stadium as a freshman people he's big he's fast so y'all see that <laughs> another example another example of a white woman holding a black man down from day one they've been doing that handshake handshake since high school she held him down through college at Notre Dame. Y'all know he was getting play at Notre Dame. He was probably he was probably running through the whole campus. She still held him down. I mean, how many black women can say that they held these types of men down? How many black women can say that they stayed down from day one? Even black, you got black women in the comments. Ain't no hope for the sisters. No, it's it's no hope because y'all are not competing y'all refuse to compete y'all continue to deal with pookie and ray ray and the thug max alpha simp y'all think athlete niggas are lame because they play video games and watch anime all day and, and and you know you're that's that's just what it is they're out competing you they're out competing you okay they say he's got that white girl with him he's gonna be generational <laughs> If it ain't snowing, I ain't going. Here's the comments. Everybody mad about the girlfriend sounding real racist right now. Yeah, that's so true. Okay. It's so crazy. But he he's a good player. She saw that potential in him. And, and she stayed down. It's that simple. But sisters are not willing to do that. And they're saying, oh, I'm too young to be in a relationship. I, I need to be strong and independent. Focus on myself. I mean, y'all are just, y'all are fumbling the bag yourselves, bro. At this point, it's not even the man's fault. It's not even the man's fault. He has no choice but to pick white women at this point. A high net worth, high value black man, he has no choice but to pick a woman outside of his race. Because y'all aren't willing to compete. Y'all aren't willing to put yourself out there. And you're not willing to hold them down through thick and thin, right? However that makes you feel or not. And I'm not saying that, you know, these guys are doing anything or whatnot, but I, I'm just saying, let's keep it a buck. These are big steppers on campus and they're making big money at a very young age. So um, th these these women are going through a lot with these young men and a, a lot of sisters just aren't willing to do that. Man, I'm going to say it from, from me to you. This is just straight up. Black women, 80% of them, they don't like you. 80%, I'm, I'm probably sure it's more. But at least 80% of black women in this day and age, it don't matter how old or young they are, they have a general dislike and hatred for you. See, I'm not telling you something that you ain't already felt. I'm telling you something that- Dear men, males, dudes, guys, whatever works for you, I am here to announce to you that I don't owe you shit. I don't owe you my phone number, and if I don't want to talk to you face to face, why would I consider a conversation with you? My freaking time, no Roman roll of a day, time for minutes. I don't want you. I don't owe you a smile. I don't want to fucking smile because you are getting my nerves. I don't owe you a fake name or a fake hello. Hey Romeo, my inbox is not an end to my box. I don't owe you modesty just because my want to dress a certain way concludes with you wanting to undress me. That's your problem.
I don't owe you a damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, <clears throat> there you have it. What else am I supposed to say? I mean, the women are telling you right here, this is another example. Oh, well, educated, strong black women. Why can't educated black women get educated black men? Because educated black women don't want educated black men. They want, they want exactly what this woman has on her forehead. They want the scammers. They want the trappers. They don't want educated black men. Why are, why is this so hard for y'all to understand? This is why the brothers who are going into the NFL draft are, are ending up with white women because the sisters are not focused on them. They're focused on the locals. Whenever a sister is going to college, I guarantee she's going to end up dating a local. She's not going to end up dating a, one of her peers, somebody in college. She's not, no, she's going to end up being in a serious relationship with a local, I guarantee it. When it comes to black women, that's just what be happening, unless she's more one of those earthy or you know Oreo type sisters, but that is very rare. If she's hot, she is going to be dating a local, period. So here is, um, here is pretty much the Instagram comments, cause you know, I can't really go through the Twitter comments cause it's too crazy, but the Instagram comments tell you everything you need to know. Uh, so the brother makes a meme of this and then he says the NFL draft makes more sense when you see stuff like this. Yeah, it does. It does. And this is pretty much a representation of all the most attractive sisters in the community. Period. I don't care what you say. If she is, if she's not 200 pounds or plus, this is how she thinks. Right? Even the 200 pound ones do, but I, I'm just Xing them out because we're not even focusing on them. Like they think that they have a say in this conversation. Y'all don't, you're too big, okay? Only the attractive women, oh, the men only care about what the attractive women think, right? We already understand how women think in general, but when it comes to black men and the successful black men and what we deserve for ourselves, being in shape, being successful, making money, having your own, doing things the right way, doing things the legal way. When it comes to successful black men, we deserve women who are in shape. So if you're not in shape, then it, it, it's like your, your point is null and void. But women like these, she has more of a natural type beauty, not saying that she's natural, right? But um, I can tell she doesn't work out, right? Because we know that most sisters are not they don't exercise like that. So everything that she has right now is because she was born this way. And probably in 20, 30 years, she'll probably, she might gain the hundred pounds, right? <laughs> um, just because she's in the club drinking and all that kind of stuff. And it, it ruins your body. But one sister says, y'all take one 22 year old. That's probably from the hood in the club with her friends. And now she speaks for all black women. Y'all the problem is she likes putting money on her man's books to talk to him for 15 minutes. Then that's her business. Yeah. But but why, why are black women acting like that? this is not something that they agree with? This sister, she don't speak for us respectfully. I mean, I, it, it, it'd be funny if they had a Twitter because then you can go and be, do the who this. You, you know, you can do the quote tweet or, or this you, this you, you know what I'm saying? And find them in, in capping and stuff. Uh, it's all fun and games until you get that indictment. That means more white collar and blue collar men for me. So you hear a lot of sisters who are saying... Oh, well, that's not me. That's not me. Bruh, cap. Bruh, cap. Y'all always have an excuse. LOL, not all of us are like this. Bruh. But, but, even if you look at these women's photos, you can tell they like that in their Instagram profile. We actually like men with real jobs. Oh, my God. Why is NFL rookies and Bob setting standards for y'all, though? Okay, so, you know. It's hilarious, but uh, this is a representation. Don't let these women tell you, oh, it's not a representation of all black women. Bruh, I mean, it's it's a representation of the good looking ones. I'll, I'll, I'll die on that hill. If she's fine, if she's like an eight, nine or a 10, sister, this is what she's into. See if this is a real glueless, throw on and go weak. Baby, stop. <laughs> 
Now, this is my first time trying this company, but they said they're supposed to be a real glueless wig that I can put it on in my car. I'm gonna do it straight out the package, straight out the box. From OQ Hair, get some lashes, a wig cap, and a band. They're 24 inch straight lace wig. Ooh, now that's some soft hair, baby. Okay, starting off strong. Lace check, I'm gonna put my makeup on my lace. I ain't gonna even stop the video. See if this is a real glueless throw on and go wig. Baby, stop. <laughs> yes, it is. That's what I'm talking about. This, love it. This is what I'm talking about. Rich, the white woman don't focus on your dick. Yeah, she go get all the money affairs in order to make sure the businesses run smooth, go get the charity, and the black woman be squabbling with you about your dick. <laughs> yeah, your black woman go squabble with you about your dick. White woman go go open charities up, uh, start doing book clubs and reading shit. Uh, making sure she picked a accountant and financial advisor, and the black bitch go be one of my bitch. Who is that calling? Who is that? So that's why. I ain't bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be stuck on the dick part. She ain't gonna never get the financial and business aspect of it. So I see why them niggas do that. Yeah. So you don't you don't think that makes them uh? What can I say? You you like they homie, sold listen, out. You 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 damn near have to when you go to making the kind of money them niggas making, homie. Uh, uh, for one, uh, the the black woman, homie, she 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 a trip anywhere. She'll check you in in front of your 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 you know your business partner, and, and so he'll see he'll start saying, well, "Man, you can't control your woman, man. Your woman will come." So he'll start mm -hmm. not wanting to do business with you. Because your woman, y'all to be out together, nigga, and your woman to catch attitude in front of his woman and wife and, and all about it by being to be looking at your woman crazy because she and her feelings. Mm. The black woman, between the black woman and the black man, they and their feelings everywhere. Everybody else trying to have a good time, they go get in their feelings. Yeah. Everybody else trying to conduct business, handle the business, nigga, it's gonna be so, that's why. Uh, that's why you see all them niggas with a white bra, unless they been with the woman for like Snoop Dogg, Denzel, D, you know, that's why. Uh, because nobody's training and, and teaching uh, black girls how to deal with successful black men. Mm. They just learning how to deal with hood niggas. Yep. Uh, niggas who, you, yeah, there ain't nobody that rich, the white woman. You heard what he said. I mean, I don't really have much to add. Y'all already know how it goes. I have spoken on the Thug Max Alpha Sim. They only know how to deal with hood ninjas. They only know how to deal with a dude that they blowing up his phone, texting 350 times, doing all this kind of stuff, going through this crazy stuff. I mean, and, and, and these sisters love saying, oh, y'all generalizing. Y'all, bro, stop lying, bro. Just stop lying, bro. Just tell the truth. Say, yes, I dealt with a Thug Max Alpha Simp before. Raise your hand and raise that motherfucker high. Say, yes, I overlooked a good man before. Yes, I, 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 I you know, I was policing his dick. Yes, I was, admit it, and then we could get somewhere, but they won't even admit it. They won't even take accountability. So, I mean, Charleston White, he, he, hit, he hit the nail on the head. Um, I, I really don't have much else to add. You know, he he pretty much summed it up perfectly. But you already know what it is. It's your boy Reclaiming Tone. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. See your relationship quote to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash app. So know you're paying your ties, man. Y'all need to be in your free dealing with the BS. You already know. Reclaim your throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.